Hi there, welcome to Chesapeake Bites. I'm Chef John Shields, founder of Our Common Table. Join us as we travel around the bay taking tasty bites of all the Chesapeake has to offer. In this series, we present one recipe every Wednesday demonstrating how you can eat well, protect our environment, and rebuild our local food economy one dish at a time. Okay, so now we're going to make some brown bread. It's actually Irish brown bread. Um, and I have the recipe right here from my very own cookbook, uh, The New Chesapeake Kitchen, because I can't always remember what I'm doing. Um, but actually, this recipe uh, of brown bread, which is a really healthy Irish bread, I want to dedicate this to Margaret Gilligan. Um, she was the best and she was a great teacher and really showed me the way of soda breads. So God bless you, Margaret. Um, she's from, from, from Ballymore over in Ireland. All right, so the most important part of your brown bread is your brown part, which is the flour. So we were over at the Waverly 32nd Street Farmer's Market and I got some amazing flour from Doppio Patisseria. They actually mill their own flour from local grain. It's so this is pretty cool. So um, I'm using about three cups uh, right in here of that. And you know, you can do different variations and combinations of how much brown and how much white you want. So I'm actually going to put in about a half a cup of white flour. And the reason being is it lightens the bread up a little bit. And especially for us Americans, you know, we're not used to to all that heaviness. And another thing that confuses you Americans is what is bread, soda bread, brown bread? Well, they're all flour and baking soda. But this is what you're thinking of. Like whenever you had the St. Patrick's Day and you say, oh, we're gonna have some soda bread. Well, here it is. And this is what it looks like inside. Now they do not know what that is in Ireland. Okay, this is a holiday bread and their actual Irish soda bread would just have white flour in it. But we like to party here, so we have raisins, sultanas, um, caraway seeds. I don't know where that came from, but it is quite delicious. But I'm showing you the tradition. Okay, so right now we have all of our flours we're going to put in there. And we're going to use some baking soda. Um, baking soda became kind of ubiquitous like in the 18th century and they started using that to leaven. They didn't have yeast to use there so much and so this is what they did. So I'm using one teaspoon. Uh, then I'm going to take about a half a teaspoon of salt and then uh, I'm going to take a couple tablespoons and again this is kind of my American way that I did, um, I put a couple tablespoons of brown sugar just to sweeten it up a, a little tiny bit. Stir it around again. And then I have some lovely butter, uh, local butter that I cut into little bits. So I'm going to take that, put it in there and sort of rub it into the flour. Okay, as I rub it into the flour, I'm trying to get it into be sort of like a coarse meal. Then I'm also going to take just a little bit of Ireland of some oats, put that in there as well, stir it a little bit more, and then I have right here, live before us, some buttermilk. And uh, you can make your own buttermilk, or you can get it at the store, or you can make a plant-based buttermilk, whatever you like. So now what I did, now take a look, pay attention. I made a well in the center of the flour, okay? And we're going to put this in all at once. I don't want a little driven drab here. We're going to go all at once, okay? Ready? One, two, three. All right, lovely. Now, I'm going to take and put on some of these gloves here uh, just because it gets a little messy. Uh, if, if I didn't have company, I wouldn't put those gloves on at all, but I don't want to frighten you. All right, here we go. So it's a quick, just throwing this in here just like this. Da, 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 da. Bring it all together. There we go. And then as you're doing it, take a look 
and it should be kind of wet and sticky, but not too wet. So what I do is I start to just add a little bit of flour as I go to bring it up to where I want it. And I hate to tell you this, but I'm going to have to tell you it anyway right now. Hell with the gloves. Um, we're going to get in there because, you know, I can't really feel what's going on if I have gloves on. So you're going to have to pardon my uh, kind of hands with this. All right. You see how it's all starting to come together? Okay. Now I have a very soft dough and I'm going to pour some flour down on a board and we're going to knead it. It's not like you're kneading a yeasted dough. It's just going to take like a minute or two of making a, a few turns. Next, I'm going to get a tray and it's kind of lightly oiled. I'll put a little tiny bit of flour down on there and then I'm going to take my dough here and we're going to put it right on there. Okay, so if you can see I'm making a circle. Nice round circle. It's about an inch high, three quarters to an inch high. I do that, take that around there. And then I'm very going to grab very, very quickly here a knife because this is another important part. You're going to take your knife and dip it into some flour and we're going to make a, a cross, an X in the top of the bread. Legend says we have to do that to let the fairies out. Um, I also think that it helps to cook the bread all the way through. So there you got it. We have a lovely dough of brown bread. I'm going to put this in an oven, a very hot oven, about 425, and it's going to take about uh, 35, 45 minutes to cook. So we'll check this out in just a bit. Oh, I didn't realize you're back. Okay, well, the brown bread's done. Look at this. It came out lovely, rose up quite nice. What you're looking? tap the bottom. You want to just make sure it sounds hollow and you're ready to go. So you could have your brown bread or if you think it's a holiday, we can get some of the American Irish soda bread, a cup of Barry's tea from Ireland, and life is good. Till next time. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you got some ideas to recreate in your own kitchen and learned a little something along the way. For more information on our common table and our mission to eat well, protect our environment, and rebuild the local food economy one dish at a time, check out our website and join us on social media.